Hello, I'm Atubo George. Hey, I welcome you to the end of the year 2021. Woo! Praise God. You know what? I'm not going to see you again till next year. <laughs> Glory to God. It's been a wonderful year. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. You know why it's a wonderful year? Oh, it was a wonderful year? Because of the testimony of Jesus that we received and we carried. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I don't know for one minute. Can you just, just wherever you are, just bless God for the end of the year. Just bless God for seeing you through to this day. Today is the last day of 2021. Can you just bless God? Oh, we honor your name, Father. You've been so good to us. You were so good to us in 2021. Lord, look at the testimonies. Look at everything we received from you. Thank you, Lord. And, and you, you are just crowning the year with yourself. <laughs> oh, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise God. Even on this day, can we call for that daily bread? Hey, guess what? Guess what? You know, if if for peradventure, for some reason, you, you were not receiving all the daily bread for this year, even though God showed you mercy, you know that God should, He did show you mercy. Think about it. Can we call for, listen, all the daily bread for 2021 that, that should have come to you? That the angels somehow didn't get across to you. Somehow. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say this with me. Say, Father, today is the last day of the year. And I receive, even as I demand from you, my daily bread. Let nothing of 2021 enter into 2022. So, Lord, I receive all the benefits due me this year, even today. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Wow. What a year. You know, for a moment, just take time to reflect on everything God did this year. You see, you, you, you can sit down and begin to reflect on everything you tried to do this year. And you begin to think, hey, I was a failure in this, I failed in this, I didn't get this right. Hey, 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 pause. Think about everything God did for you this year. And when you begin to look at it, you begin to find in it, his heart is full of love. His heart is full of love. Yeah. And what does that tell you? Even the ones I have not seen yet, the fact that I can testify that he did these other ones. I mean, clearly, I'm not talking about assuming God did it. In clear terms, he did. This year, like no other year, we have received many testimonies about people's provisions being met supernaturally. I mean, we receive lots and lots of testimony of people say, God, God told someone to come and give me something. Yeah. Now, now, there's no way you can fault that kind of miracle. Even in our lives also. Oh, we, we saw miracles. In fact, it's a normal thing to us. Praise <laughs> God. Yeah. Because God is love. And to the keepers of his word, he shows himself. He appears to them. He doesn't let them be alone. And even in these days, I know the Lord will appear to me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I showed you that scripture yesterday in John chapter 14 and verse 19. He said, the world will not see me again, but you will see me. I want to read something in like manner in John chapter 16. And then I'll pray for you. John chapter 16. And verse 16, so it's easy to note, John 16, 16. Praise God, John 16, 16. A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me, because I go to the Father. Then some of his disciples 
said among them, what is this? He says to us, a little while you will not see me, and again a little while you will see me, and because I go to the Father. They said, therefore, what is it that he says a little while? Who do not know. We do not know what he's saying. Now, Jesus knew that they desired to ask him. You know, it's not just you that when your pastor is preaching, you don't really understand what he says. Yes, you know. So the disciples were doing the same thing. <laughs> it's going like, you, you, you don't want to act like, I, I don't understand this. So like, right on, pastor. <laughs> so the Bible says Jesus knew that they desired to ask him. But they didn't, were not bold enough to ask him. And he said to them, are you inquiring among yourself about what I said? A little while you will not see me again, and a little while you will see me. Most assuredly, verse 20, I say to you, that you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice, and you will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will be turned into joy. Now, let's just keep some verses. He, he said a lot of important things there. Let's just keep some verses and go to verse 23. And he says, And in that day you will ask me nothing. Which day was he talking about? You know the day he was talking about? Because he said, In a little while you will not see me again. And in a little while you will see me. So, so now, remember in John, he said, The world will not see me again. and But you will see me. But here he's telling them that you will not see me for a little while. Then you will see me again. He was not just talking about going to die and then resurrecting again. No, that's not what he was talking about. He was talking about this me that you see, you will stop seeing me in a short while. Now, you will begin to see me in another light. That's what he was talking about. Because this seeing that he said you will not see me again he was referring to them seeing him as a man yeah and then he says after that time you will now see me again he was referring to see me in seeing me in my glory so he began to talk to them about that day now and he says and in that day you will ask me nothing why he said, most assuredly I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Think about it. Whatever you ask the Father in my name. Now, what does he mean in my name? We think it's just in the name of Jesus, it's beyond that, brothers and sisters. It's beyond that. It's beyond that. It is. Harina Zwazeb de Endoscopradia. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, He will give you. Now, watch this. He says, Until now, you, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask. And you will receive that your joy may be full. He said, up till this time, you have asked nothing. And then I'm sure the disciples are looking at themselves like, what are you talking about? We've been asking you a lot of things. He says, no, you have not asked me nothing. Hey, he is Ali Randu Askepa. He was referring to, you haven't enjoyed me yet. <laughs> you haven't. It's the man that you are looking at. It's the man that you're experiencing. You've not really enjoyed me in my full glory yet. So he says, up till now, you have not asked anything. He says, ask and you will receive. He's telling you the same thing. Up till this time, you have not asked anything. Ask now with this understanding. With this understanding. What understanding? Jesus is standing in his ministry as high priest. Now, he is the one receiving your prayers. He is the one producing the answers. So he is telling you with so much assurance. Ask now. And you receive so that your joy will be 
full. You know, sometimes I wonder if even these apostles understood what he was talking about. Possibly they didn't. Possibly they didn't. Because the more we grow in the world, the more we get wiser. And then the more the revelations of God makes more sense to us than it did before. See, I believe if Peter and John and James had lived, if they live in our day today, their perspective of a lot of things would change, even in the knowledge of God. Hmm. Where are we now? Verse 25, these things I have spoken to you figurative in, in Spoken to you in figurative language, but the time is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figurative language. That's parable, but I will tell you plainly about my father. Jesus is saying, In that day, I'm going to tell you plainly about my father. Meaning, you see, what we know about the father in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is not compared to what he will teach us about the Father. So when we begin to tell you things about the Father, when we begin to tell you things about Jesus, don't think we are preaching heresy. Don't think we are speaking out of, you know, imaginative. No, we are speaking from the place of learning from him. He said it. He says, I will speak to you plainly. When? In the day when I enter my full priestly ministry. After the order of Melchizedek. In that day, you will ask in my name and I do not say to you that I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came forth from God. I came forth from my Father and I've come into the world. Again, I leave the world and I go to my Father. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is speaking of a day and that day is now. He's speaking of the day he will step into the fullness of his ministry. He has stepped into the fullness of his ministry. And he's ready to bless you. He's ready to bring to pass everything, everything that the Father has said concerning you. So if you will connect with the Father by keeping his word, he gives you his word. You ask him, Lord, what about 2022? What's your mind concerning me about 20? That's the question you should be asking him now. If you haven't started, start now. Father, what is on your mind? Just what's your word for me in 2022? Because Lord, I want to keep your word. I want to keep it. Why do I want to keep it? Because Jesus said, if I keep your word, you will come and make your home with me. And that's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want. He says, when you ask, there is no intermediary. He's not going to tell, okay, wait, let me ask the Father for it. He says, no, the Father himself loves you. He loves you. So guess what? As you pray that prayer, the word of God will begin to flood into your mind. The word of God will begin to flood into your heart. And when it comes, be, be excited and keep it. Keep it. Keep it. I pray for you right now, wherever you are, listening to me. I pray that the heavens be opened over your life. And even as you have made up your mind, knowing this Jesus in the fullness of his glory, I pray that your experiences of life will begin to change and be ordered according to your knowledge of Jesus right now. I pray that if there is any sickness in your body right now, any weakness, in any part of your body, I declare today, because Jesus is the high priest in his fullness of his glory right now. I ask for your healing even now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if you will just join me now to say, I receive my healing from the Lord Jesus. <laughs> yes, healings are already taking place. Healings are already taking place. Yes. Yes, say, I receive my healing right now. If there is any area you've had difficulty in life, right now, oh, I see so much glory and grace being released. So right now, if you can just tell the Lord, I don't know what challenge it has been. There is, there is someone, you're watching me right now. There is, there is a fear. There's, something is causing you so much fear in your heart. Listen, Jesus is right here now. 
And if you will just tell him, Lord, can you take out this fear right now? Can you take out this fear and replace it with your peace in me? He said, I'm not going to ask anybody for you. The Father himself would do it. And guess how the Father is going to do it? The Father is going to do it by me, by Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. I release that peace into your heart right now. Be free from fear in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever have made you look disadvantaged, it's changing today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, receive the fullness of the ministry of Jesus in your life today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Man, praise God. Listen, we are in the last day of the year. And tomorrow we are stepping into 2021, midnight today. And guess what? We are going to be having a prayer meeting at midnight. Now, today we are not going to be having our monthly 24-hour prayer fast. We're not going to have a whole day prayer meeting. But we're going to pray from 12 midnight and 3 a.m., and then we're going to meet at 6 a.m. Praise God. Yeah, don't miss it. Don't miss it. I'll give you further instructions at, at the meeting when we meet tonight. So, so prepare for it. The meeting is going to be via Zoom. The information is on the screen. And don't miss it for anything because I'm going to be sharing some things that you need to know. God bless you. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for honoring me with your time. And watching these videos. God bless you. Bye bye.